Hello. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. Um, hopefully now we can make our push today to complete uh, Phoenix Wright. At least the first game. I was literally just watching yesterday's stream. <laughs> Hello, Miss Guy. Uh, guy TKJ, how's it going? Also, I realized I forgot to turn my fucking tracking on. There we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better. I look different. For those who were here yesterday, I uh I got my I made uh or update made updates to my model. Uh so things are looking a little cleaner, you know. A little cleaner, a little different. But uh Wow, new avatar. It's going good. Nice. Sorry, I have an itch on my face. Gaming. Yep, we're actually gaming this time. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the hydrating. How's it going, General? But yeah, this this is my new avatar. Uh, gaming, hello, Rose. Uh, so yeah, I actually have uh, BT6. Nice. Uh, where's my thing? So I can actually, like... How do I fucking move? Oh, I can't right-click. That's the problem. Okay, give me a second. So for those who weren't here yesterday, I can actually like, I got I got some bandages on my on my stomach just for containing. I removed a lot of like the rings around the neck, my arms. Uh, cinched the the hem of my coat, so it looks like I got too close to the fire sometimes. I put bandages on my feet, and made my pants look a little bit nicer. Glad to see him well. I'm thankful for the community for helping me out in this. Like it, I I'm not the greatest when it comes to like character design. I think it was in terms of art in college. I think it was one of my worst. Uh, but like I'm 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 just glad it like turned out as well as it did. And I th and I think it looks pretty a little bit more refined than just you know silly you know hard to explain. I tried doing the hair effects though, and I'm not sure how well they turned out. What do you guys think? Oh. Uh, so yeah, let's play some right. So yeah, uh, I forgot what we found out last night. Last we played this, we made a bonfire. Yeah, we did. Or you did it. You did it. And I'm appreciative of that, Masai. Sorry, just checking. But I'm going to go play my brother, brother's VR. Nice. Have fun. And as soon as I'm about to start, thank you, Gumbo. Thank you, Gumbo. Uh, quick note: Can someone test if Final Jizz is a uh, emote? Because I tried, I tried adding that on BTTV, but I'm not sure if I waited long enough before starting stream. Or if I did it right. Damn it! Didn't fucking work. All right, I'll have to wait until after stream. So, what do you think, Mister Right? I think the pro prosecution is confused as we are. After all. The victim was murdered in two different places at the same time. And a different suspect was arrested at each of the crime scenes. Lana. Good morning, Mr. Wright. I apologize for yesterday. I was indisposed. I hope they didn't hold you for too long question or too long for questioning. We just finished actually. I'm used to all nighters though. So how'd it go? It says Mr. Wright suspects. The police are clueless. Hello, Sphix, how's it going? I figured as much, so, so I struck a plea bargain. A plea bargain? What do you mean by that? We agreed that if I told him the truth behind this simultaneous murder, 
They wouldn't seek capital punishment. That's what I mean, Emma. What, so she just... Okay, so she's fucking... De oh, fuck off. Much to my regret, I'm as much in the dark about this as they are. Sorry about disappearing yesterday, I went to bed at 7, 8. No worries, no worries. Miss Guy. Hmm? We found trace evidence of a certain person in the police department's evidence room. They belong to Officer Jake Marshall. What kind of trace evidence? <laughs> Bloodstained fingerprints to be exact. That's the trump card I have up my sleeve today. You do understand what this means, don't you? In order to defend my sister, you're going to accuse Mr. Marshall? We have to play the cards we're dealt. Is that right, Miss Sky? Do what you have to do, Mr. Wright. That's it? What do you mean, that's it? Went to bed at like 1 in the morning due to my fucked up sleep schedule. I mean, people go to bed at different times depending on how exhausted they are. If you're feeling exhausted, you should go to bed right as soon as you can. Get energized for the next day. You don't want to keep yourself up and, like, damage yourself. Fuck that noise. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. Defense is ready, Your Honor. Prosecution is... Huh. Ah, uh, fuck. Some of us have responsibilities, such as being the adult in charge. <laughs> Gumbo, have you taken melatonin for your, your, your sleep schedule? I'm, I'm afraid you have to clarify. It takes 30 minutes by car to reach the police department for the prosecutor's office. Yet the victim, Bruce Goodman, was slain at both places at the same time. That's not physically possible, is it? What's more, I hear the victim from the evidence room just disappeared. Yes, and the body eventually reappeared in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. Wow, this is one messed up trial. You haven't damaged your sleep for years? I, under I understand that, and it's like, I know it's uh, certain, at times it's uncon uh, uncontrollable by certain people. Or I'd like, by everybody, but like... If if you're if you're forcing yourself to stay up, you shouldn't do such a thing. That's what my, that's what I'm trying to get at. I think I burnt my tongue with friction. What? What were you licking? Oh, chewing gum. Oh, I see. Okay. I could probably fix my sleep schedule. It shifts back to normal like once a month, but I take a nap at like 10 p.m. and, and watch streams and sleep is proof again. Maybe you should watch less streams. One of my duties as prosecutor is to present impartial evidence. Today I will present evidence relating to the murder at the police department. In so doing, I believe the way in which we should proceed will reveal itself. Now, that sounds like the, now that's what sets Mr. Edgeworth apart. He sounds so on top of things. Even though he doesn't know what's going on himself. That's supposed to be an admirable trait? I had rope burn on my tongue. What are you idiots licking? <laughs> Very well, let the trial resume. On the day of the crime, what exactly transpired at the police department? Mr. Adworth, you may call your first witness of the day to the stand. For the first witness, the prosecution calls the suspect of the murder that occurred at the police department. The suspect? You mean the so-called murderer? Dick slapping music here. Yeah. Things are getting wild from the get go. Yay, Meekins. I like Meekins. Will the witness play, please state his name and occupation? Yes, sir. I'm Officer Mike Meekins, sir. My occupation is, um. That would be murderer, sir. Okay. I got copper burn on my tongue. <laughs> Licking your. Dad, oh my goodness. Uh, so you're telling us you're a professional killer? Sir, it was me, sir. I'm the one who did it. 
I'll never kill anyone again, sir. You gotta believe me, sir. Uh, actually, what we'd like to hear from you is, sir, I'm, a f I'm what you would call part of the younger generation, sir. A person whose actions adults can't compre compre possibly comprehend. Please, Mr. Edward, sir. Help me, sir. Officer Meekins. Yes, sir. Give us your report of the crime. Consider that in order. Yes, sir, as you wish. After all, I'm part of the generation that must be told what to do, sir. You can't fault him for lack of enthusiasm. Who needs your mama jokes when we have I fucked your dad jokes? I understand that. However, my dad does uh, peruse on Twitch every so often. I've only seen him watch uh, Moist Noggin. Uh, but if he ever comes by, I want you guys to like behave yourselves. If he's if you start saying I fucked your dad while he's around, I might have to start banning people. I I, I will I will let you know when when my dad isn't chat. I I don't think he is. No, he's not. But please, that's that's it. I, that's that's all I ask of you guys. Wait, is your dad going to be in chat soon? I don't think so. Not today. Probably not for a while. Thank you for that, dream. My dad doesn't... My, my dad knows I stream, but I don't think he knows which... Which chat... Uh, like, which chat is mine. What are you saying, I mean? So... It's whatever. I'm, I'm not... I'm not... I'm not, like... Fuck, I'm a VTuber. How am I just going to explain that to my dad? But whatever. Crime report, sir. Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. I suspe spotted a sp suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room. I was only doing what I was trained to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked. I fought for my life. Then I, I did it. After that, I passed out. Until another officer smacked me awake. I sure hope no dads show up with gumbo around. Yeah, I know. So the fact the victim, Detective Goodman, attacked you? Do unto others before they do unto you. That's the Meekins family motto, sir. Oh, fuck. I forgot to disable right click. Yes, sir. He knocked me upside the head, sir. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. What do you need, need here is more info to work with. Although it's not my normal guard duty, I was assigned to guard the... Okay, yeah, let's press that. Mr. Meekins, you work in the General Affairs Department, do you not? Yes, sir. I'm in charge of hiring new recruits, sir. Yikes, now there's a scary thought. Evidence transfer was taking place on the day of the crime. Which meant many officers were given special tasks not ordinarily performed. I was in charge of guarding the Blue Badger, sir. Blue Badger? Yes, sir. The lovely police mascot uh, created by Chief of Detectives, sir. Oh, fuck, it's back. Excuse me for judging a book by the cover, but you sound old enough to make your own decisions, so your dad shouldn't be able to stop you. No, no, I, I, and keep in mind, I am. It's more that I don't know how, how to, ex like, how to go explain being a VTuber, you know? Thank you for the boss check. Oh, oh, that popped my neck hardcore. I am, I am 25. I, I will say that. IRL. I was to ensure it wasn't broken during the transport process. That was my sole mission for the day, sir. I see. Sounds like a very uh, important mission. After the award ceremony finished that day, there were people, so many people running around that I relocated the blue badger to the evidence room. Oh, so that's why you went to the evidence room. Tell us, what did you see when you got there? This 
spotted a suspicious person on the suspicious man on the security screen and rushes in. In order to enter the evidence room, an ID card. Am I correct? Precisely, sir. I have one right uh, right here around my neck. So then, your ID number should be listed on here, right? There it is, I found it. This one right there. Could you please read us a number? Yes, sir, it's 498-9596. He answered twice. I see, huh? But the number of, uh... It's shown as being used twice, yeah. Please explain, witness. It's no real mystery, sir. The first time is when I, uh... Relocated the blue badger to the evidence room. And the second time is when I went to go get him after everything settled down. I see, so it was during that second time when... Yes, sir. That's when I spotted the man on the security screen. I was only doing what I was trying to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked. So you were attacked. Can you please tell us exactly what happened to you? It was a knife, sir. A knife. Detective Goodman pulled a knife on you. What happened then? Well, with me charging in on him like that, he looked as surprised as I was. You aren't exactly the kind of person that uh, would want to run into. That's when I reacted, sir. I swung my arms like an octopus, struggli uh, struggling to detain him. Should have gotten a drink when I went to go fetch my frozen brick of chocolate. Why don't you go get one now? That's how I got this gash on my hand. If you just kept your uh, cool, your hand wouldn't be... When I saw the blood tri uh, trickling down my arm, I panicked. I grabbed the man by his collar. Fought for my life. Then I, I did it. Drink the chocolate. <laughs> yeah, just melt, melt it in your mouth and just slurp. What exactly did you mean when you say you did it? I know I don't look the type, but I'm really into kung fu films, sir. The man let his guard down just for an instant, so I snatched his knife from him. He took his knife. I spun him around and performed a disarming maneuver. I made sure to close my eyes like a man. <laughs> I, uh, let's see. You must have been desperate. The next thing I knew, his white coat was drenched in the sea of my blood, and then... The next thing I knew? Yes? He punched me right in my face, sir. After that, I passed out, until another officer smacked me awake. At what time did you regain consciousness? No offense, sir, but how am I supposed to know that? I was unconscious. Oh, right. According to the report from the officer that woke up the witness, it was about 5.30. He hit me right in the head, too. I woke up crying tears of pain. That's nice. I, I mean, it's nice that you recover, that is. It's a pretty odd way to murder. The, fact that, part, the problem is, he didn't actually say he murdered. He said he said he detain like tried to detain him and then got punched in the face. That's a odd thing. Why don't you like cheese puffs, uh, Sphix? Why do I brought that up? Took a sip of coke early and want to die. Don't remember when I got COVID like fucking November or some shit, but I still can't consume sugar without wanting to burn my tongue. Why not go for like a sour drink, like a lemonade or something? When I came around though, I made sure to finish my mission, sir. Your mission? Yes, sir, the blue badger, sir. I returned him to the entrance before things got out of hand. Well, we can all rest easy now. I believe now we have a fairly accurate picture of what happened. Yes, Your Honor. Only one thing remains unclear. Was the man this officer murdered really the victim? 
got a point. Um, yes, Officer Meekins. Pepsi Max is literally the elixir of the gods, though, so I don't need any other drink. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Pepsi man, too. Although, root beer for the win. Root beer is the nectar of the gods. Take a look at this. It was sent to my jail cell. Chief can't deliver it to me this morning, sir. The chief? Delivered it? What is that? Uh, videotape? Yes, sir. That's absolutely right, sir. A videotape, sir. It contains footage from the security camera and the evidence room. Oh. What? But I specifically asked if there was such a tape. And I was told it had been mistakenly erased. It's quite a mistake. I just do what I'm told, sir. The only thing I'm really good at. Oh. Looks like communication with the police department is as good as ever. Well, then let's have a look. Show us the video of you murdering the victim. Oh, please stop using that word murder, sir. It scares me. Does Canada even have Pepsi Max? I think they tried to bring it to the US, but failed. They do. Oh, we do have it. It, it was, it's it's around somewhere. I don't remember where. I know a certain source tell it. A video of a real murder. Just what are we getting ourselves into? This is really fucking weird. Bro, the lemon soda I love is only in chili? Well, what's it called? I'm, I'm always down for trying new things. If I leave this place, I lose it. You can always order stuff online through, like, Amazon. Like, give me the name and I'll see if, if Amazon.ca has it. Well, I believe we're all thinking the same thing. How can we deal with these unsettling feelings stirred within us? What the hell was that wriggling piece of plywood? Sir, that is the pride and joy of the entire Criminals Affairs Department, sir. There's a blue badger, sir. Oh, Lurk, thank you, Terror. Hope you have a good one. Why am I not surprised this isn't going smoothly? Yes, well, anyway. Sapes seems to prove that the witness did indeed encounter our someone. In the other room. And some sort of uh, activity did take place. Your Honor, instead of relying on clearly incompetent f incomplete footage, the witness's testimony will suffice. Is that alright with you, Officer Meekins? Yes, sir. As you wish, sir. His face can't be clearly seen in the video. But there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. I mean, he opened the locker, which required Goodman, uh, Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do. The locker he opened is unqu unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir. So it must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. Canada Dry, why? Canada Dry Lemon Soda. Let me check Amazon. We have lemon lime cup soda. This 
Fix, can you send me a link on like Amazon of what you what's what's your thing? It's this white. So okay then. So it must have been in. No one else could have unlocked it. What's this about a fingerprint? Each detective has been given a locker equipped with a fingerprint activated lock. These locks ensure that each locker can only be opened by the detectives it belongs to. Intriguing, that would mean. The victim of the crime scene would have been Detective Goodman. Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. I don't know where this cross-examination will lead, but everything begins with contradictions. That's where I have to start. Okay, because up, up here we have lemon lime club soda. I don't know if that's the difference. Space can't be clean so the clear soon. There we go. Tell me, were you able to get a good look at him? The face of the man who attacked you with a knife. S sir, if you must, it's mostly people have had, is having seen or not seen that man's face. I believe it would be classified as the latter? The latter. But you were standing right in front of him, were you not? More to the point, you are the person who fought him, aren't you? Oh yes, sir, but I didn't get a clear look at his face, sir. I'm not the kind of guy who looks directly at people when they're talking with them, you see. That's a good trait for a police officer. Still, I'm sure it was him. I'd bet my badge on it. There's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. But you don't know that for sure, do you? You never actually saw Detective Goodman's face. Well, I suppose you might say that. As if you must be label people as, as having seen or not seen it. Since his face can't be identified in the video, only you can verify it. Why is everyone looking at me? If I had to label your stares as disturbing or... Meekins. Did it... Was that a chicken noise? If I ever move out, I'm carrying a couple liters. Pika limes. Interesting. I sit here as if I live in the north. <laughs> Having shown a questionable video of the best, we are not in the best of moods. Now please be more certain when you testify. Y yes, sir. You claim the man who brandished a knife on you was Bruce Goodman. Tell us why you're positive it was him. I mean, you opened the locker, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do. The locker you opened is unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir. Oh. I'm sorry, I gotta watch this again. It's already indicated, the light's already on. Delaney responsible for 90% of Canada dry smuggling. <laughs> Regarding the video contained on this tape, there's one thing in particular that seems rather strange. Strange. Didn't the makers of some mugshot website get arrested for extortion other mugshots are on that website? Maybe? This contradiction leads to the possibility that the man may or may not have been Detective Goodman. What? This video contains such a contradiction. Interesting. Your Honor, I have a proposal. 
Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I propose we have the defense. Point out to this this alleged contradiction in the video. He'd want me to point it out. Very well, proposal accepted. Let us further inspect this piece of evidence. Can you get some encouragement to text sperm donor guy to ask for a new laptop? Uh, I, I want to encourage you, but I have a question. Oh, I see. Okay. I I was fucking Evelyn. I I was wondering why the hell are you texting a sperm donor? Fucker doesn't be deserve to call that. That's understandable. I think you should do it. Just be careful. He doesn't use it to extort you at all. You know. Last thing you want is for him to guilt it over your head. Mr. Wright, please show us the contradiction you speak of. You got this though, dude. I believe in you. I have to point out a problem in the video. This is the first time I've ever had to do that. You can do it, Mr. Wright. I set it's set up so you can fast forward, rewind, or pause the video. Just take a good look and be sure to point out the right thing. Please don't uh, play it too many times. I can't stand watching this video. How did this guy ever become a police officer? I wish I had some strong emotion towards my dad. He just kind of exists and indifferent to that. I mean, it's better than uh, extreme pain. Keep in mind, Gumbo. Where's the contradiction that ind indicates that the man may or may not be Detective Goodman? The thing that's strange about this video has got to be this. Officer Meekins. Sir, do you mean me, sir? As I understand it, the locker apparatus works like this. Why do we have to listen to this? When you grab the handle, a sensor reads your fingerprint. If it's a match, the light turns on and the lock is released. According to my very limited experience, that's the way I understand it, sir. Also, shout out to my friends for bringing popcorn for the movie at class. <laughs> if so, then sir, something is seriously wrong with this picture. as I thought. What's the movie? When the victim reaches for the handle to open the locker, let's rewind a little to earlier. I put the kids in a box so we can keep an eye on them easier since they plan on walking around now. <laughs> I get to make my form participation based on my thoughts. Dead Poets Society. Here, notice the light. What's this? It's already lit. Precisely my point, Your Honor. Locker was already open before the victim grabbed the handle. The kitties are cute. I'm, I'm always a big fan of like watching videos where like the cats like walk around, but their their stance is way too wide. <laughs> it's about a teens excited over art, so it's pretty fun. Okay. I don't know which one I'm going to keep yet. Well, you want the slowest one. Because I'm, I'm always of... Hmm. Can I get one I pay the shipping? That's a little unethical. Order, order. What's the meaning of this? It's very simple, Your Honor. The locker wasn't locked on the day of the crime. But the locker's locks are controlled by an electronic system. When a door is shut, a sensor is triggered. And the locker is automatically locked. Oh, I know. 
Must have broken down. Of course, I'm not an expert in this. That's not likely, Your Honor. The sensor will detect and report any malfunction. Oh, well, it just goes to show Novus just keep their mouth shut. So then, Mr. Wright, do you have an explanation? Me, Your Honor? Yes. Why wasn't the locker locked? Me, Your Honor? It was jammed. Yes, well, you see, this isn't exactly my field. What do you think, Miss Scientific Investigator? Huh? Oh, um... Maybe some... something like jam the system sensor. Something jammed the sensor? Say. There's something else that seems out of place in this video. Yeah, I thought so too. There's got to be another clue somewhere in this vid footage. Very well, let's inspect the video once more. The locker wasn't locked, Mr. Wright. Please point out the cause for this. Fuck. Did I do it right? The thing that's strange about this video would have to be, uh, this. Oh, fuck. Hold on a second, I need to use my eye drops. Oh, I don't get it. Would you mind if I bored your eye medicine? Don't look at me with those blurry eyes. Before you... Okay. I fucked this up. Very well, let's... let's bring it. I have one to get when you can have six, yeah. Please watch closely. This is the continuation of the part I showed you earlier. What's this? Something, uh, something white fell out of the locker. But sir, it's been my experience that things fall out when doors are opened. I often fall out and roll great distances when I open my car door. I can't be sure that, that that item was completely inside the locker to begin with. What do you mean? The sensor triggers the lock when the door is shut. What if something was inserted, say, between the sensor and the door? Inserted? This white thing wasn't inside the locker. It was stuck between the door and the sensor. Oh, I understand now, sir. Just like my tie. Two out of three times I get stuck in the door when I get on my patrol vehicle, sir. Instead of the door closing, my tie chokes me. But the object would have to be extremely thin to fit in the door. Only then it would have to block the electrical currents. It would need to be an insulator. Yes, an insulator. But at the crime scene, there just might have been something that fits the description. But, sir, by insulator, don't you mean... Who is this police nerd and how does he have a job? I have no idea. Very well, will the defense please present the relevant evidence? What was this insulator that was stuck in the uh, door? I found this near the locker. A thin rubber glove. But we can't be sure that was in the victim's locker. It has a tag that says SL9 incident. This video just seems to depict the victim opening the locked door. But if that, that isn't the case, the lit lamps attest to this. On the day of the crime, even I could have opened that locker. Is this not so, Officer Meekins? So, it would appear... So <laughs> Neopetsism. <laughs> I, I never played Neopets. I had no desire to. Order, order, order. 
So I get to believe then that the victim, who was witness stabbed in the evidence room, was not Detective Goodman? Objection. Do not be misled, Your Honor. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? The defense has merely demonstrated that possibility and nothing more. The victim in, this, in the video was indeed Bruce Goodman. Hey, turtle guy, how's it going? Prosecution will offer one more testimony to prove this. What? Officer Meekins, please testify about this. Sir, me, sir. I'm not sure what you're referring to, sir. Uh oh, you mean that, sir? Of course, sir. Is this a joke? Very well, begin your testimony. There's one other thing that proves that the man was Detective Goodman, sir. To, have the, to enter the evidence room, one must use their ID card. When an ID card is used, there's a record of it. At the time of the crime, the detective had to use his card. An ID card record. I see. I have the ID card record right here, Your Honor. The ID used at 514 is that of the victim. Just before the crime. Hmm? Yes, without a doubt, this is the victim's ID. However, one thing does strike me as unusual. Several hundred ca uh, cases should have been due for transferal. Why were there so few people using this room? This particular evidence room is only used for storing certain special cases. Special cases? Extremely violent cases involving police staff. Just hearing that makes my hair stand on end. Anyways, how much soda should I smuggle? About two dozen cases. Me too, although it doesn't make me much make up much of a difference. There were only a few cases up on the transfer all there, and by mo most were cleared up by noon. Right, I see. Now let's move on with the, on to the cross examination. All right, this one's gonna be a bit of a push. So unlike your earlier testimony, you believe this to be rock salt, do you? Yes, sir. Solid as stone, sir. If my hand wasn't wrapped in bandages, I'd even give the V for victory sign, sir. Can you just use his right hand for that? Let's hear him out fully. As we've seen, one never knows what he might say until the very last second. Is that card hanging from your neck one of those ID cards? Yes, sir. This card right next to my cuff, sir. I, can't, I keep it here so I won't ever forget it. But what if someone to steal it from you, keeping it out in the open like that? Maybe I shouldn't wear it around my neck. I remember when I said, I said two out of three times my tie gets stuck in, when I get out of the door. Well, the remaining time it's my ID card that gets stuck. Instead of the door closing, my ID card chokes me. Maybe I should just leave this one alone. At any rate, each police officer has only one ID card. Both the police department and, and the prosecutor's office can attest to this. When an ID card is used, there's a record of it. Actually, hold on a second, let me... may have lost it. When an ID card is used, there's a record of it. Oh. Let it be noted that this is the, re the record the witness referred to. Let me see. Yes, that would be it. Detective Goodman. What's the matter? According to this, Mr. Edgeworth, your name is on here. So it is, Your Honor. Not the prosecutor again. Oh. Maybe is that man in blue a murderer? Shh, don't stare at him. You've got the wrong color, kid. It would seem the inquiry committee will want to speak with you again today. 
I have nothing to be ashamed of regarding my actions or their consequences. For now, let us continue the cross-examination. Edgeworth is once again on trial for murder. Yeah, yeah. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. It must be so difficult for him. Time of the crime, detective had used his card. Earlier, I believe you testified that when you asked the man to show his ID card, he pulled a knife on you. Yes, sir, he didn't show me any ID card, sir. Don't you think that's odd? I mean, if he had his ID card, all he had to do was show it to you. There wouldn't be any reason to draw a knife. Can I just kill someone already? Yeah. Hey, you're right. Thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? What were you playing? I feel a ghostly presence in the chat. <laughs> I was playing stuff. Hentai? <laughs> Brothers in Arms, Hell's High. Isn't that a relatively older Brothers in Arms? Still, that's... I, I think I played that one way back when. PS3 era. Oh, I thought it was... I was thinking old PC, like XP era days. Nah, I could be wrong. I didn't know the Brothers in Arms has been alive as long as Call of Duty, that's for sure. Were you having fun, though? Maybe he just panicked. Everything stems from contradictions, let's point them out. Mr. Wright, what do you think? I'm confused. What? The problem with this ID card testimony is far too obvious. It's not like I'd worth miss something like this. You're thinking too hard about it. Come on, let's show them what we got. Tons of fun. <laughs> well, I'm glad you had a good time. And any highlights from that stream? Fuck, I got the right one. Oh. Michigan yogurt. <laughs> With chat playing sound alerts. <laughs> Unfortunately, I probably should do like a redux of my uh, my uh, s uh, sound alerts. Maybe think of some new ones, remove some ones, remove kazoo. You know how it goes. Do you have a clip of Nuke in the Whale? I went to sleep, I don't remember if he actually blew it up. What? Nuking the Whale? Wait one moment, Officer Nukins. I'm not good at winning, sir. I have the victim's ID card right here. I found it at the crime scene. There was a whale called Fred. Final relate. I, I only said that to rile you guys up. We wanted to blow it up. What the Sam Hell is wrong with you guys? But I I gotta see the sauce. I I I want to, I I want to I want to see your eye nuke a whale. <laughs> when I say crime scene, I'm not referring to the evidence room at the police department. I mean the other crime scene. The underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. I don't have the clip though. I can I can rewatch a VOD. I'm sure I'll find it. You're not getting any illegal soda. <laughs> Your Honor, I have one more piece of evidence to present. It's a very important clue regarding the victim's ID card. Uh, lost item report. It's only half completed. But it shows that the detect Detective Goodman had lost something on the day of the crime. Something important enough to fill out this report. Let me guess. You believe this something is ID card, right? Can't say for sure, but there is a high probability. That's a reason not to worry. Okie dokie. On the day of the crime, Detective Goodman was not carrying his card. 
Order, order. So now, what does this all mean? It can only mean one thing. It doesn't even have to require much thought. Man Officer Meekins encountered in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman, but rather the man who stole his ID card. Just get to the point where my chat messages disappear. <laughs> Alright, I'll vod frog it. Order, order, order. Does the prosecution have a response? I've only one thing to say to the defense. Bravo, Mr. Wright. Bravo. Allow me to summarize defense's argument. At 5.15 on the day of the crime, the man in the evidence room Officer Meekins encountered was not Detective Goodman. I'm very hungry, so I'll love you final and lurk. Okay, have a, have a good meal, uh, your eye. Then take care, man. Thank you again so much for the raid. Also, I forgot to say, how, Raiders, how is it going? Hope everybody's having a good day. Two grounds to support this. First, the locker in the evidence room was already unlocked. E Second, the victim lost his ID card. Am I correct so far, Mr. Wright? Yes. What's he up to? That being the case, we must inevitably arrive at a single conclusion. If the victim in this video is a fake, then the murder in the evidence room is also a fake. In other words, the security camera does not show the instant of the murder. Uh, that is... Well, I guess that's right. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Only moments ago, you seem to content to be pointing your finger around. This isn't going to end well. Oh, fuck. Suspenseful, you music. Well, well, it seems you finally realized exactly what you've gone such lengths to prove. Explain yourself, Mr. Edgeworth. The defense has already done the explaining for me. The victim of the video is a fake, which means a murder did not take place. At, five at the police department at the 5.15 on the day of the crime. So. So the real crime could only take place in one location. The underground parking lot. At the prosecutor's office. The murderer being Miss Lana Sky, the defendant. Ah, oh, fuck. The evidence is compelling. A trustworthy witness. Observe the moment the defendant used the murder weapon. I knew that testimony was way too shabby. It was all a trap from the beginning. Ah, oh, fuck. The activity in the evidence room still leaves many questions unanswered. Who exactly was the victim Officer Meekins encountered? And where did this person disappear to? However, this child's purpose is to ex examine only the murder of Detective Goodman. Just so, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, you have to do something, or else Lana... What do I do? How am I supposed to get myself out of this mess? Objection! One moment, Your Honor. What now, Mr. Wright? Don't tell me your objection to what you just proven. Of course not. But I almost walked right into the prosecution's trap. What are you talking about? This cross-examination has proven one thing and one thing only. The security video did not show the actual murder. What am I waiting for? Oh, there's a cloth there now. However, it cannot be said that it's that it is unrelated to the murder in the parking lot. Specifically, large amounts of blood traces were found in the evidence room. The defense demands further examination to the truth of the matter. Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor? If this court were to examine this further, other witnesses will be necessary. Is the prosecution prepared? I'm sorry, Your Honor. The prosecution considered the incident at the police office to be unrelated. 
We have not prepared any other witnesses for this incident. This just might be my chance. Time to call a certain Texas Ranger to the stand. Mr. Wright, do you mean? Your Honor, the defense would like to request a specific witness. Oh, whom do you have in mind? Someone we have reason to believe knows the truth. The truth behind the activities that took place in the evidence room. The prosecution requests to hear this person's name before deciding whether or not to comply. Very well then, Mr. Wright. This person whom you would have testify, what is his or her name? Officer Jake Marshall. Why him? Can't let Judge Richard know, know just everything yet. He's in charge of the evidence room. I feel, should, well, I feel we should hear what he has to say. Prosecution agrees to the defense's request. Since he was responsible for guarding the room, we should hear his testimony. Fortunately, he works in the police department. We shouldn't need longer than 20 minutes to prepare. Very well. The court will take a 30 minute recer recess while the witness is subpoenaed. Will the prosecution please prepare the witness during this time? We will, Your Honor. Court is now in recess. There's no stopping you, is there, Mr. Wright? Huh? What do you mean? You called for Jake Marshall. Shush is an emote? What what the fuck are those? That's fuck it up, okay. Uh I haven't figured anything out. Lana? Lana? You're the one who knows everything. Emma. You always know everything. Why don't you just tell us? Mr. Wright is trying his hardest to protect you. I... I don't recall ever asking for his protection. Is this part of, like, new... Uh... New... New, like, April Fool's emotes or something? How can you be so cold? Don't you trust us? Don't you trust me? Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals. I love you, Gumshoe. Oh, <laughs> guess I am. I'll come back later. Wait, Detective Gumshoe, what is it? You got a lot of nerve, pal. Make an detective run around all while all duty. To stop it off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. Sorry, detective. You better be, pal. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. I didn't see there, Chief Prosecutor Sky. That's okay. So what have I... Uh, have you brought what I asked? Oh. Oh, 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 You mean this, right? My apologies, Detective. Due to my present circumstances, I was forced to use Mr. Wright's name when making my request. My name. Pretty sure the Pizza Time song was the first thing I heard in the first, final stream I watched. What? Uh, what? Which stream was that? My name. 
Never in a million years would I have thought it was you who asked me. Could I bother you to bring me the SL9 incident files? I'll need them by noon. Talk about crazy. You're playing. Oh! Oh, okay, you know, that makes a lot of sense. The SL9 incident. Yeah, Spider Man 2. I actually really enjoyed that game. Yeah, both of you, I think both of you came in through a techno stream. I think. Balana, that's. I thought Mr. Wright might need them, so I had them brought here. Here, you might do well to read them. Can't believe you, though. Chief Prosecutor were witnessed in that case. This guy was a witness. The Joe Dart Killings. Take it from me, you don't want anything to do with the serial murders. Oh what, now that I brought your stuff, you're just gonna ignore me? Emma, but why? Why is your name in here? Uh oh. Techno Raiden, and I recall Pizza Time was the first thing I heard. Aha! Joe Dark, Sale, Murder, Death. Victims, Jones, Edith Kirby, Rachel Moss, Jason Knight, Neil Marshall. Head Prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth, Witnesses, Lana Sky, and Emma Sky. Executive Investigators, Damon Gant, and Lana Sky. Head Investigator, Bruce Goodman, Investigators, Jake Marshall, Angel Starr. Okay. What? My name's in there. I don't know, unless... No, it couldn't be. Lana. This this SL9 incident, is that... That's the classification the number of police filed it under. Two years ago, the rest of the world knew it as... The Joe Dark Killings. I don't even remember to fix the Technos chat. <laughs> I forgot about half like Technos chat existing like Strax. Well, now you're part of the communities. Enjoy it, Gumbo. The Joe Dark. No, La no, no, Lana. That's over with. No! Emma, wait. She ran away. Fuck. You know what? I just remembered I gotta be somewhere. Sorry, pal, but I'm out of here. Jake Marshall, Angel Star, Damon Gant, Miles Edgeworth. Not to mention Lana and Emma. Everyone involved in this case is connected to those killings two years ago. This can't be just a coincidence. Knowing you, you just might be able to make it to be able to figure it out. Time to get back to the trial, Mr. Wright. Best of luck. I'm gonna take a good look at this file. Already did. Okay. <laughs> the court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. Emma didn't come back. I'm going to call the next witness to the stand. The officer in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime. And he's drinking in court. Witness, please state your name and occupation. Me, partner? Oh, I'm just a man. Same as you wandering the trails of civilization. Occasionally helping the elderly cross the intersections when needed. Yes, we get it. Oh, I know, you're a patrolman. As for my name, if you listen hard enough, you can hear the wi uh, howling wind call in the doubt. To be exact, it's Jake Marshall, Your Honor. <laughs> howling wind, I've never heard Edgeworth described that way before. Now, Mr. Marshall, let me ask you something. You were in charge of Garvin Evans' room on the day of this crime took place. 
I have a good excuse for not knowing half Techno's chat, Techno's chat though. TOS balding. <laughs> That's correct. Going to the papers, partner. What do you mean? A desperado souls is, is as boundless as the desert sands. No paper can sum it up. Maybe it's because we get on with this quickly. Please share with us your testimony of, of the day of the crime. And just in plain old English. My job was to keep a wary eye of the bo on that bone orchard. They said I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. Besides, the, re the room's protected by two security systems anyways. If I remember right, I was at the street side saloon at the time I went down. I'm just an innocent travel man. So if you're out of ammo, it's time I hit the trail. Can't say I particularly care for your attitude. Can't say for your can't, can't say I care for your beard, but you don't see me complaining. Holy shit. Desperado is at an MGR reference. I fucking want to play the game so badly. Holy crap. Wait a minute. What do you mean by two security systems? I mean, security cameras and the ID card reader. I reckon even a cowpoke click you knows about those. Yes, well, what about the finger activated, finger activated, activated, fingerprint activated locks on the evidence lockers? Fingerprint activated locks? What kind of newfangled doohickeys are those? He's not being very helpful. He's not that good with machines or with following orders. Everyone's got their weaknesses, now don't they, Mr. Prosecutor? This one seems like trouble. Okay, Mr. Wright. He's all yours. How exactly did you keep an eye on the evidence room? I just made sure nothing moved in security monitor. Canada monitor. That room's so still. Even time dies in there. I was just a caretaker who interred the reading, the recordings. You interred them. If you have nothing that aren't useful, when the time would come, I would erase the tape. If nothing unusual is recorded. Tapes are to be erased every six hours. Each time I erased the tape, it felt like I was erasing a part of my life. This guy has a flair for the dramatic, but isn't going to do him any good. So in actuality, you don't physically enter the evidence room. I'd say I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. Go to Philip's Discord and look at the media channel. What is that? I'm going to take a look too. What the fu- okay. Major rounds on the day of the crime, right? Actually, no. I'm gonna do one emote because I get that's that's all that comes to mind. And you heard a word I said, partner. I told you that it ain't my style. I'm afraid I don't understand. No desperado I know lets rules get in his way. No desperate as I know joined the police force. It's Officer Marshall on the day of the crime. Just between you and me, I didn't set foot in the evidence room that day. Was a rubber glove stuck in the victim's locker? Do you know anything about that? Sorry, partner, can't say I do. I've been in that crypt in weeks. How does this guy avoid being fired? Fuck. I'm 
outside the room is protected by a security system anyway. You used to be a detective, so you used the evidence room of the past, correct? Of course. Back in the day, my locker was a gold mine of evidence. And yet, you didn't know about the fingerprint locking mechanism? Sorry, partner, I ain't good with machines. Couldn't even tell you how a bike works. That's quite, uh, incredible. Sensors on the locker handles cannot be seen. Love a new avatar in action? Thanks! The eyes will always be very unsettling, though. I'm sure you'll get used to it. I I hated the old eyes, to be honest. I, I, wasn't, I was never the biggest fan of it. It is well known that some detectives are unaware of their presence. Now that he mentions it, Detective Gumshoe said something like that, too. And anyways, Hallie, how you doing? At any rate, it doesn't seem that it's relevant to this crime. Can you tell us what you were doing at the time the crime took place? If I remember right, I was at the street side saloon at the time it went down. What are you doing in a place like that? I was eating spaghetti. <laughs> I have a giant ass bruise from my leg at soccer practice day. I didn't know you played soccer. What position do you play in? There's super pressure on my leg now because of soccer? I mean, okay. I've been playing soccer since I was three. Oh, okay. Not even Angel Steak Lunches can beat that parlor's Von Gold Sepia Pasta. You mean to tell us you abandoned your police duties to eat some noodles? Not all desperados eat tacos, partner. That's not what I meant. I hope this has at least taught you a lesson. That's strange. This is usually where Edgeworth says, Did you not uh, want to raise this year? I hate calling it soccer, but I don't want people thinking I'm running around with a stewie. Stewie head. <laughs> I love footy. <laughs> I'm just an innocent traveling man, so if you're out of ammo, it's time to hit the trail. Out of ammo, Officer Marshall. That's right, partner. Or as you'd call it, evidence. If you plan to pin the, pin the meat to this crime, then you better draw. Otherwise, you're just wasting my time. My steel horse is waiting to carry, my, carry me back west into the sunset. Hmm. One thing seems clear. Despite being responsible for guarding the evidence room, witness doesn't appear to have seen anything. Texans don't take orders from anyone. Everyone knows that. Apparently your superiors don't. Okay, I have a trump card up my sleeve. So best keep my cool. Before I use it though, I'd better up the ante. Better up the ante? The case has an insane ending. Can't wait for you to get it. All right. The room is protected by two security systems, anyways. Street silence is more down. I I right right evidence wrong time. Officer Marshall doesn't strike you as odd. It is you being called in to testify like this? 
After all, you weren't in the security room at the time of the crime. And yet you dragged me down here. Explain yourself, partner. How's it going? Uh, I forgot to ask. How's it going, Dylan? It's quite simple. You left a, you left a very large trail behind it, same. Or to be exact, a handprint. Hmm. Listen real good, partner. Like I said, I'm the caretaker of that crypt. I pay my respects, that is, make my rounds about once a month. It's only natural that my fingerprints would be in there. I only wish it were, officer. Could you? I'm doing alright. The only thing, the support thing I know is, is the shuttlecock, because caca. <laughs> but you see, your fingerprints were covered in blood. Witness, what's the meaning of this? Your bloodstained fingerprints were at the crime scene? The blood was wiped away, however. A luminol test clearly revealed this. Officer Marshall? It seems to me there ain't a person in this room with a head on his shoulders. I take it you have an explanation then, Officer Marshall? About the bloodstained fingerprints? Very well, you may begin your testimony about your fingerprints. Kaka is a superior one, yeah. I the badminton was the only sport I was half decent at. Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in that evidence room. One of them just happened to be at the same place as the as the bloodstained handprints. The murderer touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. The bloodstain and the fingerprints are completely unrelated. Or didn't you know the murderer was wearing gloves? See, I had nothing to do with it. Oh, fuck. The witness's explanation appears valid. Although there is room for doubt. Life wouldn't be fun without any doubt, partner. The defense may now cross-examine the witness. This guy's hiding something. I can feel it. <clears throat> like I said, it's only natural. That's because, how did you put it? Pay your respects once a month? Yeah, that's right. That and one more thing. The locker happens to be mine. What? What do you mean? I mean what I said. The, the locker I used when I was a detective, the locker I still use. All that's in there now is a, uh, is a heap of broken dreams. I see. It'd be strange if my fing fingerprints weren't all over that locker. The only fingerprint data was never removed from that locker's programming. Must have been using the fingerprint lock all this time without ever knowing it. One of them just happened to be at the same place as the bloodstain handprint. So then what about the bloody handprint? Wasn't mine. It's no mystery. Please explain. My locker is covered with my, my fingerprints. Just so happened. The murder touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. The chances of that happening are a million to one. On the contrary, one could argue just the opposite. The chances of that not happening are a million to one. Get one thing straight, partner. You weren't going to get no reward from me with a mere fingerprint. You want to know why? The bloodstain and the fingerprints are completely unrelated. Unrelated? They're as different as night and day. Kind of like cereal and cereal. What's got to do with the other breakfast? With well, The other's a type of murderer. He's right. Although seeming a little like they're totally different. I don't see what Han and Ums have to do with this. Or didn't you know the word murder was wearing gloves? How do you know that? I may be a loner, but I still do my job. I keep up I keep up on the reports. 
There was a blood stain at the scene, though to be left by the murderer. That's right. It was found in Detective Gumshoe's locker. However, no fingerprints were detected on that handprint. You might think we tried that too. Hmm. So that would mean the murderer, wearing gloves, happened to place their hand on top of Officer Marshall's head fingerprint. That's the only logical conclusion. I started to get the picture, partner. The picture? The seal of blood in the desert is just food for the buzzards. There's only one reality, and that's this. The security tape. So long as my trail isn't, isn't in there, you can't say otherwise. This isn't getting us anywhere, Mr. Wright. Please consider carefully where you're going with this cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Now then, continue, continue your testimony, Officer Marshall. Too bad it wasn't me in that video, right, partner? Actually, it is. I can, I can fucking nail him for that. Or not. I feel kind of bad for the guy. He posts a picture of cinnamon breadsticks, and all anyone is tough thinking is cum tart. Yeah. Part of a nutritious bread fuck. I mean, breakfast. Motherfucker. I know it's the video because of the locker. I don't know which one it's. If it was commentary, it makes more sense to feel sick, exactly. Motherfucker. I'm trying to think.
Did I press on this yet? What do you mean by that? What time is this crime? Isn't that right, partner? If so, that video is, is the only direct evidence you have. But that video is next to useless. It's full of blind spots. Blind spots? Can we not talk about this, guys? Places you can't see. Camera's panning back and forth. The floor isn't shown. Someone is familiar with the camera's position. They could leave the room without being caught on tape. We don't have time for your speculations, Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright, if you can show us the evidence in the city that indicates Officer Marshall was present, please do so now. Very well, allow me to point out your mistake, Officer Marshall. Try carefully, Mr. Wright, or you might not wind up breaking one, more than one making a mistake. What's y'all's favorite popcorn flavor? I'm, I'm a fan of just, you know, plain salted butter. Real butter, though, not the movie movie, movie theater crap. Or, uh, on occasional, on occasional, a very, very light sprinkling of either all-dressed seasoning or cheese. Now then, let's have a look, another look at this video. So, show us this incriminating evidence of the witness, Officer Jake Marshall. Bring our attention back to the security camera. As a mistake, I'm afraid you'll soon not forget, Officer Marshall. The days are short in Texas, and so are our tempers. Could you sum up what you have to say in eight words or less? Very well. You can clearly be seen in the video. In this video. Oh, it's yeah, actually eight words. I wish to shrivel up and dive to your nutrition. Gumbo, no. What do you put on your Sphix? That, that's sweet. Like a small sprinkling of sugar? I should, I should, uh, I think you might like my, like, recipe for, uh, caramel corn. Exactly at words. Not bad, partner. The key lies in a certain locker shown in the video. That locker with the white cloth sticking out. That was what the witnesses, I believe. Now then, let's rewind the video a bit. Add caster sugar, okay. See, I, I, have, I have a banger recipe for caramel corn, that's a thing. It is a cool number like Octagon. Reminds me of that one video where like people just remixed uh, Jack Black saying uh, Octagon uh, for Elmo. It was like Octagon of Destiny or something like that. The white cloth, it's gone. What's the meaning of this, Officer Marshall? When the crime took place, the white cloth wasn't there. Then it suddenly appeared. There's only one explanation. Officer Marshall, you were in the evidence room at the time of the crime. What's more, you opened your locker when the camera was turned away. Order, order. It would seem... Oh, hold your horses. Sorry, partner. But you got the wrong man. So what if my locker was opened? That doesn't mean I'm the one who opened it. The murderer needed to hide something, so he opened a, so he opened a locker and stuck it in. It's not my fault he opens chose mine. Why is everyone staring at me like I'm a wanted man? Spoke for scared to play that on stream when he was playing a hentai sim trainer. Nice. 
That's a good song, though. This guy isn't just playing dumb. He really doesn't know. Uh, I hate to rain on your parade, but you're the only person who can open that particular locker. Oh yeah, I call your bluff. You say I opened that locker? Now prove it. Uh, fingerprint sensor? We talked about this earlier today. Lockers can only be opened by detectives they belong to. What kind of crazy talk is this? Is that jerky? I have a good idea. I think I have a vast amount of meat and I have bread. You're going to make an awesome sandwich? Well, Detective Gumshoe did mention something about this. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There are some people on the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. So, Sheriff, what do you have to say in eight words or less? I only got one word for you, partner. No! Oh! Order, order, order. Witness, explain yourself. If this is a joke, it's the worst I've ever heard. I assure you this is no joke, Officer Marshall. Now then, please tell us what you were doing in the evidence from at the time of the crime. Ole, please answer the question. <laughs> do you butter your sandwiches? On occasion, I do. Lurk shiny hunting Arceus? Okay. There's enough moisture in the gallon of ham, I don't need butter. I, I only add butter for a slight bit of creaminess to the sandwich. And I know chat's going to be like, ah, ha, 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 come joke. But no, it's, it's seriously just like, the, the cream kind of balances out, and I usually put mustard on my ham sandwiches. If I don't have cheese, I will, I will, I will do a slight layer of buttering, not, not heavy butter, but a slight layer of butter with the mustard just to counteract the sour. What is he now, a bullfighter? That's all right, Officer Marshall. I believe we can figure out the rest of out from here. We can. Have a look at these floor plans. There's no place for someone to hide in the evidence room. Yet Officer Meekins didn't see Officer Marshall. If that's so... I fucking despise butter and water. Anyways, we are we gonna make the Wallace? <laughs> so then, where was a the witness? Seems Mr. Wright has an answer. That's right. The only possible conclusion. Well then, let's hear it. Where was Officer Marshall at the time of the crime? Officer Marshall was standing right here. Hmm. So Officer Meekins didn't notice him standing there. That's almost as credible as Meekins' warp theory. The chamber's empty, partner. Better reload. Oh. What? Now they're getting up on me. Perhaps you should think a little more of where your Officer Marshall was. You should see me in the evidence room. The only place it could be was... It's almost as credible as Beacon's Warp Theory. Chamber's empty partner, better reload, fucking. Take 
Officer Marshall was standing right here. There, but that's that's where the victim, Detective Goodman, was. Correct, unless the man wasn't Detective Goodman. I believe the victim in the video is Officer Marshall. It was this... It was you, dressed up like Detective Goodman. But that's preposterous. Officer Meekins witnessed the detective at the crime scene. Once he saw the man's face, he'd know for sure. May I point out, though, that Officer Meekins did not know Detective Goodman. He also testified about the man's reaction when confronted. When I entered Edmund's room, I asked him to show his card, sir. Yes, and how did Detective Goodman respond? He suddenly pulled a knife on me. Something about the officer's story puzzled me. If the man had his ID card, why didn't he just show it? Yes, he would have needed it to enter the evidence room, so he must have been carrying it. The answer is simple. He couldn't show it. As you can see, Detective Goodman's picture is on his ID card. Oh, I get it. If he showed that, his cover would have been blown. Officer Meekins would have realized the man was a Detective Goodman. Do you have anything to say to this, Officer Marshall? You've got quite an imagination, partner. You got a term for that. It's called circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial evidence? He's still denying it. You're gonna have to do a bit better than that to break a detective. Unless you have hard evidence proving I dressed up as the victim. Hmm. I can't say I particularly care for your uncooperative disposition. I can't ca say I care for your beer, but you don't see me complaining. What's he biting? Probably beef jerky or something like that. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have any evidence proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that Officer Marshall dressed up as the victim? Well, who am I kidding? I don't have anything like that. I can see the fear in your eyes, partner. It seems you're the one who couldn't take the desert, desert heat. It's also the judge guilty. But I like the judge. The judge is a stupid character. I like stupid characters. Makes me relate to them a bit better. This can't be happening. So obviously he's the one. What can I do? It looks like your lack of experience has finally been exposed. I'll pass on to you what someone told me when, just when I was starting out. When you run into a wall with no place to go, return to the basics. I didn't have enough hand because of the cat tax. <laughs> Is the cat satisfied at the very least? The basics. For me, that would be what Mia used to tell me. Phoenix, try thinking outside the box. I shouldn't look for proof that Officer Marshall was in disguise. But rather, I should look for evidence that came because he came about because he was in disguise. Why do you think this locker was open in the first place? What do you mean? There's no reason for Officer Marshall to open up his locker at the time of the crime. Yet he did this by the chance of it, it might be discovered for later as it had been. Which means he didn't originally plan to open his locker. It's less of a was and more of a wolf. <laughs> Gumbo, uh, feel free to say no to this this uh, request. But could you take a video of the cats meowing? I, I'm always a big fan of like small cats. You know how they move around, how they how they squeak and cry. If if not, no worries. I I understand if you'd be uncomfortable with that proposition. Which means he didn't originally plan to open his locker. According to the defense's argument, Jake Marshall dressed up as Detective Goodman at the time of the crime. Then after the crime was committed, he opened his own low locker for some unknown reason. The fact that a white cloth is sticking out of the locker seems to indicate that. He opened it in order to put the cloth inside. So just what exactly is this piece of cloth? Perhaps... Perhaps the video is the key to all our unanswered questions. I don't have any unanswered evidence, so this video might, is my only shot. I did notice there was blood on his shoulder, so I think he might have disposed the coat in the locker in order to prevent a thing. Counter offer, record the kitties and make the meows yourself. <laughs> meow. Meow. 
meow. Squeak meow. <laughs> Let's take yet another look at the security tape. After committing the crime, the witness opened the uh, the locker to put away the wet cloth. Please show us why the witness had to open his locker. Might be difficult because I'm not usually awake when home alone. And there's the same room as the TV? Okay. Gumbo sleeps when alone, good to know. <laughs> For some reason, you disguise yourself as Detective Goodman. And entered the evidence room, though I don't know to what end. Yet. Yet. However, something unexpected happened. Officer Meekins barged in on you. When asked to show your ID card, you pulled the knife on him. However, Officer Meekins panicked, and the white coat you were wearing was soiled with blood. A bloody white coat? You couldn't just walk out like that. So you hid the coat in your locker. Not bad, partner. My one message on MK is basically Home Alone goes to sleep. <laughs> Now then, Officer Marshall, I read to tell us the truth. Looks like I underestimated y'all. I hope you're happy now, Mr. Edgeworth. Two years ago, if you're only half as persistent as you that were as then as you are today, we all wouldn't have to be here now, now would we? Officer Marshall, tell the court what you did, all of it. All right. It seems the time has come. Marshall's confession. I had to do it that day. I couldn't just stand by and let it die. I stole the de detective's ID card and just like him. I planned to take out the evidence. I wasn't expecting Officer Meekins. I knocked him out and managed to escape. I knew which areas wouldn't be caught on the camera. There wasn't any murder in the evidence room at 5.15. So the supposed victim was really you. But there's one thing I still don't understand. Traces of a large quantity of blood were found on the floor of the evidence room. If no one was murdered, then how could that be? Officer Meekins managed to cut his own hand. My guess is he's, is he's the donor. It was way too much blood for such a small donation. When you say it, you mean? Do you even have to ask, partner? The S Online incident. Two years have passed since that case was closed. I was going to completely end with the transfer all that day. My cock reaction to the cum tart is gone. That, that may have been a bit excessive, especially in Pipe Server. Not if I have anything to do with it. That incident's not over. What did you hope to accomplish by sneaking into the evidence room? The case is closed, only that case's lead detective can look through the evidence. I wanted to have a look at it myself one more time. No matter what the cost. I don't care what anyone says, partner. That case is mine. But often Mr. Marshall was in charge of that investigation. Why does he care so much about it? That day was my last chance. That's why I... I stole the detective, detective's ID and dressed like him. I plan to take out the evidence. Why'd you disguise yourself as Detective Goodman? If I didn't make it look like Goodman was carrying out the evidence transfer, I'd be arrested for stealing evidence, which wouldn't get me anywhere. So you did it to fool the security camera. And the detective's ID card? I stole it the morning of the incident.
So that was really why Goodman was started filling out that lost item report. I returned his ID card. I left it on the floor of the prosecutor's office parking lot. The ID card I found was left there by Officer Marshall. So essentially, you managed to succeed despite your lack of foresight. What do you mean, partner? I mean the fingerprint activated lock, of course. No matter how well you disguise yourself, you can't change your fingerprints. Under normal circumstances, you wouldn't have been able to open that locker yourself. Why is this guy confessing to everything? Because there's there's details that he wants us to figure out. No, no, I think he's realized how smart we are. And kind of wants us to break a truth or something. Under what kind of circumstances, you wouldn't be able to open that locker yourself. But he could just because he had a rubber glove and get stuck in the door. That means that Detective Goodman must have opened the locker before Officer Marshall. I was expecting Officer Meekins. I knocked him out. You pulled a knife on Officer Meekins and tried to drive him off? I should say I was a little surprised. I only planned on being in the room, evidence room for no more than five minutes. It was me who burned down the orphanage. I shoved the fork in the socket and coated gasoline. <laughs> I don't think anyone would actually come come in during that short time. Officer Meekins. Certainly is a one in a million type of person. Mistaking a detective for an intruder and demanding this should be shown his ID. I'll have to think a little more about his race this year. Oh. When did Edgeworth get so much influence? Anyway, he threw himself at me and I ended up cutting him slightly. I'm sorry to have to turn out this way. With me knocking him out and everything. By the way, what happened to your knife? Oh, you mean this one? Uh, that's actually kind of smart. I don't know what to say. Severe nerve and brain damage due to the amount of electricity that went through my brain? <laughs> So you knocked, off, uh, knocked Officer Meekins out and managed to escape. I knew which areas couldn't be caught on the camera. So you did your research beforehand. Those who go into the desert unprepared don't live long, partner. I didn't think it would make a difference though. The security tape is erased every six hours. If all had gone, gone, if all had gone as planned, no footage would have been left. However, you bled your coat in the struggle with Officer Meekins. If someone was in the security room when I came out, the jig would have been up. I opened my locker and stashed it in there. What was Officer Meekins during, doing during that time? People in comics get to run faster and be smarter when they get hit by lightning. I just become more gumbo. <laughs> what else? He was sleeping like a baby. So what you're saying is, on that day... There wasn't any murder in the evidence room at 515. But the blood found at the scene certainly indicates a crime took place. What are you, blind? The victim shown on that tape is me, and I'm not dead yet, partner. So you stole the evidence from the locker. Actually, no I didn't. What? Why not? When I opened the locker, the evidence was already gone. I've, I was a friend who was shocked by electrical switch. I, I have been a lot uh, shocked too. My my entire right arm seized up. What? Mr. Edgeworth, where is that evidence? Still missing, Your Honor. <laughs> gumbo, gumbo plies. <laughs> Dr. Goodman's locker was already empty. Someone else stole the, the evidence. Officer Marshall, may I ask you one thing? Fire away, partner. It's a free country. Just remember, I'm also free to decide whether or not to answer. Why did you do this? Stealing a detective's ID, entering a police officer. This is no small offense. Moreover, you're an officer yourself. This will have serious consequences. 
The only time I've been shocked is when I looked at Charger. Brilliant. Can't just be forgiven with a simple cut in salary. Not that salary cuts are ever a valid solution. Like I said, this isn't your case. This one is mine. And I'll do anything it takes to get an answer I'm satisfied with. Hmm. Witness has an unusual amount of zeal. Let's hear more. I can't just forget the SL9 incident. You know why? Well, that case was solved two years ago, wasn't it? That's the reason the evidence was stored in the evidence room. Joe Dark was convicted for his crimes. One thing I can say for sure is that he deserved his sentence. I remember the Joe Dark case. It involved serial murders, didn't it? I would intend to complain about how it turned out. But there's something that still bothers me. Something went down at that trial. Something no one will talk about. What happened? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why is he so concerned with that incident? Maybe you should present him with what I think his real reason is. Maybe one might appear sooner or later. The reason involved here is related in some way to that case. I better take another look at the files. Officer Marshall, I think I understand. I think I know why you care so much about the SL9 incident. Sounds like you've been sipping too much cactus juice, partner. I used to get shocked by the shitty lamp because it, it had all of its wires exposed. Yikes. Electricity isn't the plasma for me, I prefer fire. Hell yeah. Bonfire to the end. I have the SL9 incident filed here. The name Marshall is mentioned in here. In a list of murder victims. Neil Marshall. Are you related to this man? Neil Marshall? Yeah, I'm sure you've heard the name. Two years ago. He received the same lousy prosecutor award you got. What? A prosecutor? You must be talking about the King of Prosecutors Award. Now I remember. Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He handled the SL9 case before I did. That's right. He was killed. And the case fell into your hands. What was his relation to you? To you? He was my brother. Fuck. Wow. He was investigating the murders with Damon Gant, the deputy chief, of, the, the then deputy chief, chief of police. When can we make an ice plasma? I don't know. The group of detectives I worked, I was part of, worked under them. We were desperate to prosecute the ki uh, killer. Joe Dark. My brother fought Dark and was killed. That was the first time Dark left behind any evidence. That was all we needed. He was arraigned and incarcerated. The case was finally closed. At least, according to the public records. What do you mean? My brother couldn't have been killed by Joe Dark. I knew my brother better than anyone. No one could have beaten him in a fight. And that's it? That's your reason for your insane actions. There's more to my brother's death than what the records say. No matter how much you try to hide it, you can't fool me. Final please. Yeah, I know. Oh, at least one thing's for certain. Now we know what happened at the police department on the day of the crime. That was the last day the SL9 case could be reopened. Not satisfied with his resolution, Officer Marshall planned to steal the evidence. Disguising himself as Detective Goodman, he, re -ent he entered the evidence room. 
Officer Meek has confronted him, so he rendered him unconscious and fled. Yes, this mystery has finally been cleared up. No murder took place at the police department that day. The things that happened by chance never cease to amaze. At exactly the same time as the murder at the prosecutor's office, this fake murder was going at the police department. Chance? It's gotta be more than just that. So if no one was murdered at the police department on the day of the crime, that means the murder in the prosecutor's office parking lot was the real one. Which in turn means only one person could have committed the crime. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky. But wait, a verdict wasn't reached in yesterday's trial. Which is why we examined the incident at the police department today. But there's only one reason that the defendant was not convicted yesterday. I really wish my chair didn't lean back so far. There yet remained the mystery of the Salma Tennis murder at the police department. It seems to me, this boy's got the draw on you, partner. All of the mysteries at the police department have been resolved, no doubt about it. Our sole murder took place at the prosecutor's office. The only suspect is Lana Sky. Less than 450C is cold. <laughs> Testimony of one in Miss Angel Star is completely incontestable. If you have a response, make it a single word or less. Ah, I, I rest my case. Did I just fucking lose? See, this trial has reached its conclusion. There's no room for doubt. Well done, Mr. Wright. Thanks to you, I didn't need to waste my time disproving the alleged murder at the police department. To be fair, it's compelled to like the sun or something. Yeah, exactly. There's no doubt what I heard proof today is true. The apparent murder on the security's camera tape was really, really was fake. But I didn't realize that would end up proving Lana guilty. Now then, the time for the verdict has arrived. This court finds the defendant. Your Honor, wait. Emma. The defense has an objection. A scientific objection. Right? What do you mean, right? Mr. Wright. Are you this girl's guardian? Your Honor? Oh, uh, in a sense? Please, Your Honor, all I'm asking is for a minute of your time. Please hear me out. Mr. Edgeworth, please. I don't want to leave any loose ends. You want a minute? I'll give you three. Good guy, Edgeworth. I I was kind of in shock. I mean, finding out the SL9 incident referred to the Joe Dark killings. Now that she mentions it, the names of both Sky Sisters were in that file. That's when I figured it out. I mean, what Officer Marshall was trying to do that day. So I knew his fingerprint had nothing to do with the crime. Well, that's only one thing. The other handprint. You mean the traces of blood found on Detective Gumshoe's locker? But no fingerprints were found on it, right? No, but I figured it, if I examined it scientifically, I'd be sure to find a clue. So I ran over there and looked at it again. So did you find something? Um, no. Final, are you sure you actually added final? Yeah, I can, I'll double check. I think. Huh? Sorry, I guess I'm not much of a scientific investigator after all. Um, is that all? Please don't be mad. I'm just a high school student. And I'm just an attorney. But Mr. Wright, those traces of blood are the only clue we have. If we can't find something wrong with them, 
Please, Mr. Wright, you're a professional. If anyone can save Lana, it's you. Me? Oh, boy. <laughs> Time's up now then, Mr. Wright. With regard to the incident at the police department, does any reasonable doubt remain? Um... It appears the defense is troubled by the other blood mark. It's not showing up on the BTT website that updates pretty regularly. I'll have, like, like I said, I'll have a look at it after stream. I may have fucked something up. Looking at the floor plants, the handprint was discovered around here. Is there a problem with this? Mr. Ray, I'm sorry, I can't be more use. But still. If you can't find anything wrong with that blood mark, Lan will be... Please answer my question, Mr. Ray. We don't have all day. Yes, Your Honor. If I've ever needed to concentrate, it's now. What could be wrong with the handprints on Detective Gumshoe's locker? Could there be something I'm missing? Objection! This handprint left the crime scene. Clearly shows a contradiction. The only thing that seems clear is you're grasping, Mr. Wright. You've been staring pretty intently at those floor plans. Tell me, is there a problem with them? Yes, this is strange. Take a good look at these floor plans. Something is missing. Missing? You mean something that hasn't been drawn on there? Yes, something that, when drawn, will completely change the meaning of the blood mark. Let us pray the defense is tr simply trying to buy time. Very well, Mr. Wright. Father Fitz Evans here. There's gotta be something I can use. Question is, which item can prove something is missing of the four plants? Oh, don't tell me it's this fuck. What about that piece of plywood? The Blue Badger, mascot of the police force. Defender of truth, guardian of proof. Explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Losing the floor plans of this crime scene. The blue Badger is not here. So? So watch what happens when you put him in. This is where he was dancing at the time of the crime. Well? Well, what? That's right. So long as the blue badger is dancing here, it'd be impossible to place a handprint at the spot on the locker. What? Hell badger. So that means, uh, just exactly what does that mean? It means it can't be done. What are you saying? Blood traces were undeniably found on the locker. Don't look at me, I didn't put it in there. Mr. Wright, think it through scientifically. Emma. On that afternoon, Officer Meekins was the one who brought the blue badger to the evidence room, right? After he put it down, it would be impossible to leave a handprint on the locker. There's a record missing between Mike uh, Meekins and Goodman's. And Meekins would have seen the bloody handprint from Edgeworth. So that means this blood mark was left there before the blue badger was brought in. Just one moment, I will not allow for such far-fetched balderdash in my courtroom. It may sound far-fetched, Your Honor, but it's the only possible explanation. On February 21st, in the police department's evidence room, blood was spilled not once, but twice. But how? What time was captured on this tape, taken by the security camera? Officer Meekins cut his hand, from which a trivial amount of blood fell. Problem is, the other time...
Someone bled prior to the struggle shown on this tape. It had to have been. It had to have been. Detective Goodman when he was really injured. When he was really murdered. That's ridiculous. I refuse to really accept your absurd claim. The murder portrayed in the security tape has proven to be a fake. However, I love this music so, so much. Doesn't explain the blood mark found on the locker. So then, assuming this murder you purport really happened, when did it take place? I demand to show you evidence that it proves what occurred. When did the first incident occur? To summarize, the defense claims that part is Officer Meekins being cut by Jake Marshall. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Who was posing as Detective Goodman. Another incident took place in that evidence room. That's right, the blood mark on this locker proves it. Very well, then tell us. When did this first incident occur, as Mr. Edgeworth said? Proof must be presented. Proof that shows when the murder took place. Thank you for that, Andre. Thank you. There's only one piece of evidence I can show of that. Now then, will the defense please present its evidence? That shows when the first crime took place. If the crime took place inside the evidence room, then the killer would have had to enter it. In order to do so, an ID card would have been required. An ID card? Oh! A ID card record. Officer Meekins brought the blue badger panel into the evidence room at... Well, let's see here. 450. If the crime took place before that, then it would be... For 4 p.m. Ah. Ah! Miles Edgeworth. Just what have you done? I never would have figured you had the nerve, boy. Drop the act, witness. It doesn't take a lot of thought to figure out that it couldn't have been me. Hmm. Nope, I ain't getting it. I'm afraid I don't understand either. It's clear from the luminol test that the blood was there. However, when the second crime took place, both Officer Meekins and Officer Marshall failed to notice the blood. That means the blood was wiped away from the first crime. The blood, the blood from the first crime was wiped away by the real murderer. It would have just been 10 minutes to, to murder the victim, carry his body away, and clean up the blood. Unfortunately, that's physically impossible. That would mean the crime must have taken place before Mr. Edgeworth entered the evidence room. Let's look at the chart again. There's only one other card remaining. Seven sevens. Talk about a lucky number. But wait, that doesn't make sense. How could Detective Goodman have entered the evidence room? Since there's no record of his card being used beforehand, he must have entered in along with the real murderer. That's the only plausible explanation. He went in with 7777777. Mr. Edgeworth, please look at this ASAP. Find out whose ID number is 7777777. That's one seven too many, Your Honor. Unfortunately, I'm unable to look up the owner of that ID card. At least, at present. What? Explain yourself, son. The ID number 777 belongs to someone with the rank of captain or higher. Someone who's a so-called executive officer. Damon Gant? We don't have the authority to inquire into such a person's identity. That's ridiculous, just how I'm not finished talking, Mr. Wright. There's one situation in which we can be granted such authority. If an official charge is filed against an executive, uh, against an executive exec is accepted. An official charge? You're all alike, aren't you? With your cover-ups and your forgeries. That's how the prosecutor's office operates. I take pride in my work, Officer Marshall. I'd appreciate it if you keep your slander to yourself. 
Slander, is it? Okay. Let me ask a question. Yes? No, not to you. To her. The defendant's sitting over there. Your own little executive. Well, Lana? Don't be stupid. She's been charged with murder. Of course, we looked up her ID number. And it's not 77777. Don't blame me for a fool, partner. That's not what I want to ask. All I want to know is one thing about that incident. The SL9 incident? Answer me this, Chief Prosecutor. In that trial two years ago, did you really only use legitimate evidence? Do you need the witness to repeat his question, Chief Prosecutor? Tastige? Oh no. I, I need to see Tastige. I heard him fine, Mr. Edgeworth. Two years ago, I was in charge of the prosecution for that trial. At the time, we occasionally we felt the powerlessness of the law. At least I did. Lana, I'm a pr became a prosecutor in order to suppress crime with the law. Before I realized it, we were the ones being suppressed by the law. Defendant, just what are you saying? I'll ask you again, Chief Prosecutor. During that trial two years ago, did you really present all the evidence in court? Can you look me, an investigator in that crime, in the eye and say that you did? Chief Prosecutor, you didn't. I don't have to, Officer Marshall. What? Why don't you answer him? Drastic crimes require drastic measures. That's just the way it is. We did what we had to in order for him to get the to get the verdict he deserved. But Lana, even if it involved forging evidence, hey, uh, you of Sui? Is that how you say it? How's it going? Welcome. Uh, how, how do you say that? You, uh... You, uh... I, I, I don't know. What, what, do, you, do you have a preference of what I should call you? See? That's what I'm talking about. No. No! Order, order, order. Order! Lana's remarks caught such a stir. The chaos in the courtroom could not be quelled. The conclusion of the trial would have to wait until the following day. Damn. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Damn, what an ending. Alright, I think I'm done for the day. Uh, let's figure, figure out who to raid. Unless somebody's got an idea. Good stream, thanks. All right, um, let us raid. By final, take care, Dylan. 
Uh, let's raid cow. Cow's playing. Um, as always, I hope everybody enjoys themselves. Uh, I think we're getting really close to the ending of this, hopefully. But, uh, yeah. Um, tomorrow is chat lamity, I think. I'll have to see what my energy levels are. I'm, I'm supposed to rush around all morning to do some work. Hopefully get it done. Uh, well, yeah, I hope everyone takes care. You have one day left for the trial is all I say. I kind of figured. Because it's on the, on the save point, it says investigation. And seeing as we're getting closer and closer to it. I've, I've yet to do a thing that has three days, so. So maybe no, nah, I don't think we'll, I don't think we'll be finishing Phoenix right next, next time we do this, but probably the time after that. So probably on the Sunday, unless unless something happens uh, where Don Kachi is uh, Don Kachi or I are predisposed and unable to do the Thursday stream. But whatever. Um. Oh, married message will be. She playing Minecraft. Uh, I know this is bad, but this is okay. <laughs>